What's up, guys? This is C A R L O S Curtis, and today we're going to react to Phoenix Wright, the musical Supercut, the Turn About Encounter. So, this is a random encounter video. I'll put the original video in the description down below. Subscribe to Random Encounter to do very good video game live musicals. So. They did also FNAF, the musical, and they also did a super cut of it. So, if you like video games and you like music, then you will love Random Encounters channel. So, I'll put the original video description down below, as I told you guys. And enough talking, it's going to be a long video, so let's get into the video. I've seen part uh, 1, 2, and 3, and just Order! not that together. Order in this court. Not until Mr. Payne concedes that his witness's testimony is laden with holes. That's impossible. There must be a mistake. The only mistake here, Winston, is arresting an innocent professor and this 12-year-old boy. No, no, no. <laughs> Hello? Nick? Nick, please, I need your help. Maya? Maya, what's wrong? Nick, it's Larry. He's been murdered. What? What happened? I... I may have killed him. You know, if you keep ending up here, they're gonna name a wing after you. That would be cool. Uh, serious question. <clears throat> did you murder my childhood best friend? No. But the police say I did. Why? Well... I was staying at the hospital where Larry volunteered. Larry volunteered at a hospital? Yeah, since a few weeks ago. But last night, he goes up on the hospital roof and... And took the hard way down. Nick, I know I seem pretty tough, but I could never hurt Larry. Yeah, uh, I know. And I'm gonna help you prove it. But how? Detective Gumshoe says they have witnesses and evidence. And you have me. Besides, we've been through worse, right? Like clockwork. Somebody out there killed Larry Butts. And whoever they are, they tried to pin it on you. But we're gonna find them. We're gonna smoke out their lies in court, and we're gonna burn their shady evidence for the whole world to see. Where do we start? I think I'll speak with some of the witnesses. Hey, pal. Funny place to dispatch an ambulance, huh? Save it, gumshoe. I need it. <laughs> what do you know of Larry's murder? Sounds like you fell off the roof, pal. Got any trace of foul play? I don't ask questions. I just sweep. <laughs> what did you find inside of the body? Here's my autopsy report. Have you a bead on any lead? Because I need it today. Actually, a piece of evidence was stolen. Stolen? Yeah, our blue badge of security camera. Up on the roof, we had it stationed. And this badger was a witness? Filming the world through cold, dead eyes. So the murderer removed it. Uh, translation? Beats me, pal. You keep saying that. <laughs> I think of you up on the roof. Couldn't do a few lies. Get off my roof, you spike-haired nimrod. Hey, Miss Olvek, you were here? Find someone else. Friends on trial for murder. Take it from me, that girl is a killer. Have you even met her? The push and the fall, I saw it all in the light of the moon. I have to go, but Maya's innocent, you'll see. Stay off my roof, whippersnapper! Day one, district court. Anything useful? Hardly. This is the worst autopsy report I've ever seen. Lots of fractures, no heartbeat. Time of death. Picture of an eyeball. That's not an eyeball. Mm. Phoenix Wright. Murders have a way of bringing us together, don't they? Edgeworth, please tell me that you're not prosecuting this case. I am. But why? You know Maya's innocent. What I know is that will be difficult to prove without an amenable prosecutor. Better the devil you know, right? Oh. Good luck. of Maya Faye will now come to order. Is the Ooh. prosecution ready? Ready, Your Honor. Is the defense ready? Ready, Your Honor. 
the prosecution calls Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Calls came in approaching midnight. Calls at midnight. Someone died due to a fall. What kind of fall? Tell about the fall, please. Claims are made that Miss Faye shoved him. Miss Faye shoved him? Here she's seen right afterwards in the hall. Excellent photo. There's something surely very wrong. Objection! Where's the face here to ID? Looks like she's facing the wrong way. Hold it! That's her outfit, you can see. It is! That's totally her outfit! Objection! Those are clothes, who knows who's wearing those robes underneath? Where's the proof that she was up on the roof? Oh, here's the shot where she leaves. What? Hey, that's me! I have a tendency to sleepwalk. Every killer knows her victim. By and large, that's true. Maya Faye knew Larry Butts. She knew the butt. Something smells like butts here. Not sure why Miss Maya picked him. Picked the victim? But we fear it's clear that she went nuts. Pretty unlikely, cause I can't bet the story. Objection! An arrest was Maya say. Now that I think about it. Hold it! That's an easy thing to fake. Actually, it's way harder than it looks. Objection! There's no motive here. Objection to that idea too. I'll object to each ridiculous point proposed by any of you. Ooh. Mr. Wright, please do desist. Disrupting court, we get the gist. No need to constantly insist. Objection! Of course, I know, but no take that's and no retorts. No second chance, no last resort. I'll hold you in contempt of court. Correction! My witness has more to add. Detective, update your testimony. When the night guards found the body. Poor old Larry. Led by old bag and her Such a shady, surly lady. It was brought to Dr. Hardy. Dr. Hardy. Maya was arrested near the scene. That's how it happened. I'm really, really sorry, but objection! Where's the proof that Larry fell? Uh, messy chalk outline, pal. Take that! There's his ID badge as well. Hold it! How'd she know the victim went up outside on the roof? Objection if you claim that your defendant's being framed. And if you argue she's to blame, then all the same, I ask you, where's the proof? Objection! Did I do something wrong? I object <laughs> to wasting my time going in circles like this. Verdicts are required in three days. And the sing-songy yammering has already cost us one of them. Yammering? I thought it was rather catchy. Nope. You'd best both examine some evidence and try a bit harder going forward. I expect a far better performance from you tomorrow. Oh, you'll get a performance. Court adjourn. Me too. Then I could skip the commercial, guys. It was nice of the judge to let me tag along with you. <coughs> it gets kind of weird and antsy waiting for conclusive evidence. Yeah, speaking of, what exactly are we looking for? Anything that proves you didn't murder Larry Butts. Right. Some clothing, some blood. Any loose thread that we can pull on. And if we pull on it hard enough, <laughs> Gumshoe's whole story will start to unravel. Okay, clothing. Blood. A drop of blood could blow this wide open. A bit of cloth could wind up the key. A pair of prints could change the whole trial. A single thread is the thing we need. Hey, Nick, I found a... Pagatama. A couple cracks could make a big difference. A minor flaw could solve the whole case. A, a single, single thread, thread could be our undoing. I'll take that. Hey! That's our evidence! That you found on my roof! Give it back, old bag. This will make a great gift for my edgy boo. Nothing slips past old windy old bag. <laughs> No one escapes my baggy eye. That's right, you gotta be quick to beat the old bag. Now get off of my roof and say goodbye. <clears throat> She's literally the worst person. I need to take a bath. The court is back in session for the murder trial of Maya Faye. I trust we will not have an encore of yesterday's squabbling. The prosecution calls the hospital's chief security guard, Miss Wendy Oldbag. Thank you, Edgy Poo. 
you look scrumptious today. <laughs> Objection! The witness is being super gross. Sustained. <laughs> Miss Oldback. Call me Wendy. Miss Oldbag, <laughs> were you working the night that Larry Butts was oh. murdered? I was. And did you go to the roof between 11 p.m. and midnight? I did. And can you describe the things you witnessed there? I can! <gasps> <laughs> now would be a good time to describe the things you witnessed there. Well, there were two people up there. One in a hospital volunteer uniform and one in a long purple robe. And what were they doing? The purple one was in the midst of some sort of satanic ritual. <gasps> um, it's actually called spirit channeling. It's usually pretty harmless. You know, except for one or two cases of murder. Yeah. Miss Oldbag, are Ooh. you saying the culprit yeah. had channeled a spirit? <coughs> no, but they were trying to. Uh, actually, for the record, spirit channeling comes really easily to me. Like, I don't even really have to try. Like, I could channel any of you right now. I mean, if you were dead, I could. <laughs> You're not, so... I wish I was dead. <laughs> so what did you do next, Miss Oldback? <coughs> I did the first thing I could think of. A sleazy jazz number. I told them to get off my roof. Are we getting to the part of the testimony where a murder occurs? <laughs> I was getting to that. As I shouted, the witch charged forward and knocked the victim over the edge and off the roof. Were you able to apprehend the culprit? Honey, my hips ain't what they used to be. I thought nothing gets past old Wendy old bag. So the killer escaped. Not entirely. I managed to tear off part of the murderer's costume. The culture's not a costume. Please show us this piece of evidence. Voila! What? Objection! We found that Magatama first, Your Honor. On my roof where I left it. She is literally, literally the worst. It seems the defendant and the killer were matching jewelry. Do you suppose they order from the same catalog? This is ludicrous! If that was Maya's Magatama, it wouldn't still be around her neck right now. Not so fast, Mr. Wright. The defendant has taken great pains <clears throat> to remind us that she is a spirit channeler. It's likely she owns a spare. That's true. Mm -hmm. And we only saw her from behind upon her return in yesterday's security footage. Meaning it could have been missing. Witness, hold that Magatama by one finger. Don't tell me what to do, Whippersnapper. It's upside down. Exactly. That Magatama is a fake. Why would the killer create a fake Maga... Ma... Ma... One of those! <laughs> Probably to frame Maya Faye for murder. And the person who presented that Magatama in court as evidence is none other than... Wendy Oldbag! What?! As head of security, Ms. Oldbag had access to the entire building at any time. Including surveillance footage of the victim's movement and other security guards' location. She would also know that the blue badge on the roof was secretly a security camera. Which is maybe why I went missing in the first place. You impudent buffoon! Why would I murder a volunteer at my own hospital? Maybe to keep him off your roof. Oh, what you play for me, Creative as <laughs> always, right? But I have one more question for Miss Oldbag. And what's that? When you called the police, ma'am. Whose phone did you use? Mine! You own a cell phone? No! The hospital issued one to me for emergencies. Hmm. I thought as much. What are you getting at, Mr. Edgeworth? Every hospital issued phone is equipped with tracking technology that logs and reports wherever it goes from the moment it is turned on. It does what? That's not good. Using a list of coordinates retrieved from the witness's phone, I've created a virtual map. Retracing every path the phone took the night of the murder. Definitely not good. Let's see this map. <laughs> this dot is Miss Oldbag. She arrived as usual for her shift and spent most of the evening in her security office. Until we reach 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Where's she going? Let's watch. 
She's going to the roof, as she testified. But what happens next is key to her testimony. pursues the killer, just as she claimed. Mm. Objection! She, uh, could have removed the phone before the attack. You don't go down quietly, do you? Mm. There's an old saying that the phoenix will rise up from the flame. But this ain't no drama off Broadway or courtroom video game. Now you've run out of chances And this trial's taken too long So let's end this All the evidence was here all along Because right is wrong Well, Mr. Wright The witness could have shot the victim? I don't think so All of your logic is faulty Your plans are all a disgrace <laughs> All of your traps are outdated Your tricks blow up in your face Sad to break the illusion, but it's true, I knew all along, you can't fool me. Is it cruel of me to say it in song, because right is wrong? He's just jealous of your hair. <clears throat> Forgive my lack of tact, but right knows little more than Jack, because he's a wacky crackpot quack, exactly that, a backward hack. In fact, in spite of what's been said, in light of right's quite empty head, Mr. Right is wrong. Now that you feel yourself sinking and watch things go up in smoke Finally you see you're in trouble but all your gimmicks are broke <laughs> Bluffs are just a distraction <laughs> and your case is clearly not strong So let's end this and send right right back to where he belongs Because right is wrong <laughs> She's like, hey. Wow, that was actually pretty catchy. Old Peg's yep. telling the truth. I can't find any reasonable way that she could have committed this crime. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have anything else moronic to say? If Maya didn't kill Larry, and neither did Wendy Oldbag, Then the victim's not actually dead! What? <laughs> Are you insane? Jury's still out. I will not have my court made a mockery while you turn this trial into a sideshow. Your Honor, with all due respect, Mr. Wright may not be wrong. What? The autopsy report was indeed poorly worded. Ordering a detailed follow-up would at least be a reasonable formality. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Has this whole courthouse gone mad? Please, Your Honor. <clears throat> One more day, and an expanded autopsy. Nothing more. Court adjourned. <clears throat> Not you two. You stay another minute. <clears throat> You must think me a fool to not catch on to what you're doing. But if there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's the perversion of justice in my court. And it's clear you two have been colluding since the start of this trial. No, it, Your Honor, it's not... Which is why, Mr. Wright, your friend will not be joining us for tomorrow's trial. You're removing me from the case? And replacing you with a prosecutor truly fervent for a verdict. Your Honor, you're not going to find anyone half as passionate as my... Ouch! Did you miss me? Foolish fools. Day three.